What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're back at one of my favorite little trophy trout streams. Let's do a little bit of trophy trout fishing. And I've got an iconic bait that has caught tons of large trout, including a couple world records out there. And that is the Rapala Countdown. We've got the CD3 version today and that nice sinking countdown. And guys, this is just one of the best trout baits that have ever been made for a reaction style bite. We're here early in the morning, the ideal time to use this. We're getting some nice cool afternoons and this is just the perfect bait to get these old fish biting first thing in the morning. We've already got ourselves one rigged up here guys on our Lose Mock Pearl Combo in that nice shad color as you can see right there. We're gonna be using eight pound 100% fluorocarbon line today. That eight pound will help us with these bigger fish and keep us from breaking off. And if we get snagged, we should be able to save our baits as these countdowns love to sink quickly and they will get hung up. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's go ahead and hop into the creek right here, make a few casts, and let's see what happens. Got him on right there. Oh, actually, we've got somebody's line attached to our countdown. Very interesting. Try to get a hold of this line. Wow, this fish is fighting so hard. Looks like we've got our countdown wrapped around somebody else's line interesting way to start off our day see if we can't get a hold of the line there we go i'm just hand line this guy in the rest of the way here oh and he popped off right there oh we've even got the hook perfect well guys very interesting first catch of the day got somebody's little split shot rig We've got ourselves a nice, big, hefty mess. So we'll get all this cleaned up, get this old hook and line up out of the creek, guys. We'll get back in here, try to get ourselves another one on that old countdown right there. All right, guys. If you guys can see this string that this person used up here, it's like some two or four pound test. And that's why I really recommend that much heavier stuff that we use six or eight pound, because this thin stuff here will break off on this bigger fish. And you'll end up leaving all of this in the creek and. It's really not good guys so when you're going to be out and you're targeting fish that are you know two pounds minimum i highly recommend that six or eight to avoid that kind of issue right there all right i got that little sucker all tied back up we're just going to drop it in the creek here and make sure we're tracking properly don't know if you guys can see that right there but we absolutely are it's looking beautiful so we're going to continue fishing along here guys see if we can't get one to go ahead and strike our little countdown giving it a couple twitches here and there, some pauses, straight retrieves, just switching up that cadence till we figure out what it is these fish want. I've learned over the years that while throwing these old countdowns, the fish really are different each day. Sometimes they want it jerked and paused. Sometimes they want a straight retrieve. So we're just mixing up our cadence, guys, trying different things till we find that perfect thing that works. Oh, got him on right here. Followed it all the way to the bank, guys. Just doing that twitch and pause cadence there. And this one came right on up to our feet and got it. I actually seen the strike. Don't know if you guys seen that on camera. Got to wear her out just a little bit. She bit right here close. Wow, that fish is fighting so hard. Not a very big one. All right, slide her on into the net. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. Oh, popped off in the net. That's just what we like. Beautiful fish number one right there. Got that old countdown stuck in the net. We'll just let that little heifer take right on off back in there. Wow, guys, there we go. Fish number one. Them old hooks held. Not a big surprise. 
These Rapala countdown hooks are just phenomenal and they have been for years as they've had plenty of time to adapt and adjust to find that perfect hook. Let's go ahead and bomb it back in here again and see if we can get ourselves another one. There he is. There he is on just a slow retrieve. Another one about the same size. Different cadence though, guys, quite interesting. Fighting super hard. He's got that thing jacked in his mouth, plumb sideways. Absolutely crushed it. Heck yeah. Going ahead and grab out our old pliers here. Do not want to get these old trebles in your fingers. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Kick that little sucker right off in the net there. A beautiful fish right there, guys. Let's go ahead and let her go on back strong. There she goes right back into the depths. Heck yeah, guys. That old Apollo countdown is absolutely slapping them. That's two fish in about 25 minutes. Two different cadences. And they're absolutely crushed and already getting those iconic teeth marks in the bait there, guys, that these are known for. A lot of people that use these like to show off the fact that they've got teeth marks all in them. That little beauty straightened out her hook there a little bit, but we can get that fixed and we'll get back in here and try to get ourselves another one. All righty, got that hook straightened back out. Just gonna watch that bait there for a second. Still falls beautifully and still tracking. Just what we want. Let's go ahead and bomb it out here and make ourselves another cast. Try that same retrieve again right there, guys. Just nice and slow. That last fish absolutely cracked it. You cannot reel this bait too slow in shallow water as it will go down to the bottom. It is a sinking bait. Note the word countdown. It will fall quite quickly. And it falls about one foot per second on average. That's where the name countdown really comes from. You can count it down. You can bomb it out there in 15 foot of water. Count to 13 or 14. Know that you're down there a couple feet off the bottom in the strike zone. And then just slowly retrieve it back. Or you can twitch it and pause it. And as you pause it, it will fall to the bottom. Twitch it back up. A lot of people prefer that technique. It's my favorite too. Just twitch, twitch, wait, twitch, twitch. And it just falls and pops back up. A beautiful, beautiful cadence that the fish absolutely love. But it seems like we're going to have to switch it up as we've caught two fish in two different cadences. One was on that straight retrieve, just pointing the rod tip down, retrieving it back. The other one was on that jerk, jerk, pause technique. So we'll switch it back and forth. Might have to switch up holes. Hopefully we can complete our challenge right here in this hole. But there we go. Fantastic. Right up, he was talking. Another one on. Rod tip down, slowly retrieving. Ooh, nicer fish here too. Only got it by the one treble this time. Woo, angry one. It's a quick shower there. Beautiful, she kicked it off in the net as well. Absolutely showing off down there. What a beautiful fish right there, guys. Heck yeah. Let her go on back strong. Alrighty, guys. Last cast in this old big hole going in. Although my favorite way to fish the Rapala countdown is in a big hole like this, just casting and reeling, changing up that cadence, and trying to get them to charge it from a distance. It is also a fantastic swift water bait. So we're going to head right downstream here into some of this faster current and jig this thing around. See if we can't spot and stalk ourselves a couple more to end out this challenge. Let's go ahead and head down there. Let's see how it goes. All right, pull up to this little swift pocket right here. We're just gonna work this old countdown through here nice and slow. Just flipping it out, twitching it on back. Not sure if there's any fish in this run or not, but if there are, we should be able to get their attention. All right. Looks like nothing for this little run, but we were able to fish it nice and thoroughly using that old countdown right there. So we'll keep it moving downstream. We'll keep stalking out these little swift runs and see what we can find. 
She's walking her way down this old swift current. Looking out there into the creek. Seeing if we can't spot anybody posted up anywhere. If so, we'll bomb a couple casts. Oh, right there he was. Got that one right there spotted. So we might as well hop down here next to the creek, see if we can't catch him. There we go. We got him. Took several casts. But we seen him from up there on the bank. Was able to come down here and make several precise casts. And we got him on just like that. Oh, he is fighting so hard. Yes, he is. Wow. Been enjoying those nice fall-like afternoons. Angry, angry fish right here, guys. Oh, beautiful. Kicked her off right there. She's taking off back happy and healthy. If we were keeping, that would be a little bit upsetting, but that'll work, guys. That quick catch and release. We'll go ahead and count that one there. That's fish number four of our day. And once again, we just showed up right up here, up on the bank. We seen one flash down there. Made several repetitive casts in this run. We was able to pick him up. Now, I only seen the one fish, but it's never a bad idea to make a couple follow-up casts, especially after catching one. Because what I've found in the past, that when you get one to react to reaction style bait, oftentimes, if there's another one in the hole, it will also react. So just a fun little tip there for you guys. Make sure you make that follow-up cast, and you may get blessed with another one. But there we go, guys. There's fish number four of the day. All rainbows, all on that Rapala countdown. Heck yeah. Well guys, we fished our way all the way up through that shallow stuff. Only one to show for it. We did change up colors though. So I think we're gonna go back up here to our main spot where we started. Throw this different color in there, give it a few more casts. But as you guys can notice, that sun has came up. And in most cases, the old countdown bite does slow down when that sun gets up high. As the fish can see it better, they just don't wanna chase it. We'll give it a few more casts in here. Hope to finish out this challenge. I was really hopeful to get it done before that old sun came up. But in some cases, guys, you just got to roll with the punches. So we'll keep casting out here in this old broad daylight. And we'll see what happens. Well, guys, I think this will be our very last cast of the day. We had a ton of fun there at first light. Throwing the old CD3 by Rapala. And was absolutely crushing them, guys. But here in the last little bit, the bite has just stopped. That old sun has gotten up and the morning bite is over. So that old countdown is just not getting the attention that it was. But guys, that is to be expected. It is one of the best early morning and late afternoon lures you can possibly use while out trout fishing, especially if you're looking for that reaction style bite. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button. And if you would like a chance to get your hands on one of these CD3s, in both that awesome trout color as well as that bait fish color all you've got to do is head down there into the comments drop me a comment and that will be your entry for a chance to win make sure you are subscribed as you have to be subscribed to win and a lot of you guys here lately have not been claiming your prizes we do not reach out to you guys what we do is at the very end of most of our videos we announce a winner so make sure that you're sticking around you're not cutting your video short and you're figuring out whether you are or are not a winner. Get it if you can, boys and girls, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.